And like, whatever, it's their opinion. They're just, like, they just love anything the DE does, and whatever, I guess. I hate that kind of blind following, though. So if you, if you like, just blindly agree with anything DE shoves down your throat, then, um, sorry, I guess. Not a problem, KW. As long as the vault open, I believe it's up until the first week of January? <laughs> Why don't you play Titanfall 2? I've been playing Final Fantasy 15. It, it's a little bit difficult to play, like, Warframe, like, a lot, and then also another game. Especially one like Final Fantasy 15, which has a lot of time and you, you know. Speaking of changes, how excited are you about those new invasion bosses? So awesome, we will be able to fight Razorback Armada in one year the way it's going. Yep. Yeah, I really wish the gain on those was much faster. I don't understand why it's not. Like, being able to, like, just have, like, Razorbacks and Fomorians showing up all the time seems like it would be really fun, but the rate seems so slow. And it might just be because most people just don't fucking do invasions. Vault is, going to, is still going to stay open for 23 days. Yeah, so that'll end in the first week of January then, right? Oh, wait, no, no, no. That'll be... Yeah, no, yeah. That'll end in the first week of January then. Okay, yeah, okay, good. I was right. I think it should be acceptable to support DE without agreeing with or enjoying everything they do. Okay. I do that, so yes. You can support... Yeah, I'm not gonna t say you shouldn't support DE. That's fine. But, like, whenever they fuck up, don't just tell them they did good. Because that's not how you... That's not how things get better. If there's something you don't like, you should be vocal about it. And if there's something that you feel is bad for the game, and is not working correctly, or does not fulfill a purpose that DE set out to fulfill, you should tell them. Whatever your first Riven was, and how bad it is, does not correlate, I hate the people that think this, does not correlate to what your opinion about Rivens should be, because your experience is not the same as, like, the wide breadth of people. Like, just be, like, I got a Riven mod I would be happy to get, and because it is a bad Riven, like, because people, other people, don't like the Flux Rifle. I actually really like the Flux Rifle. People think that I don't like Rivens because I got a Flux Rifle mod. I don't like Rivens more because I got a Flux Rifle mod, which is an old weapon that used to be a meta tier weapon that I loved using. Like, I liked using the Flux Rifle a lot. It used to be outstanding. It used to just cut entire hallways full of dudes in half. It was amazing. And now it's shit. It's shit garbage that's not worth using. So, I got a Riven for that weapon, which the goal of Rivens is to take those weapons that used to be good and make them good. But the path to do so is so fucked up and poorly designed and not worth doing that there's no reason for anyone to do that. So the goal the DE set out to do, which was make those weapons good, is not, you know, there's no success. They did not succeed in doing that in a way that makes sense. And the randomness with which you get Rivens is so ridiculous that unless you buy them, which seems to be the underbelly, like, seeded goal of these sh of this awful shitty system is for people to spend shit tons of platinum on bullshit Soma Riven mods. That seems to be what the actual purpose and goal of this thing is. They don't, like, if they say one thing and do another, that's really fucking frustrating to me. That is incredibly frustrating to me. Because you, like, if, if, if they set out with the intention of having a system of it randomly making strong weapons stronger and making a shit ton of platinum through people trading with each other, that would be something that I'm like, okay, as long as you're telling me that, I understand what your goal is, and I'm actually okay with that. But yeah. Like, it just telling. Yeah, exactly. Like, telling us one thing and then fucking doing another is ridiculous, and I hate it. I cannot stand it. That's like... It's like going in the store and being like, Oh, I'll buy you a gallon of milk. And then coming back, and it's like, Oh, I got you chocolate milk. <laughs> yeah. 
Like I like chocolate milk, but but you. It's, told it's more me like milk. they. It's more like they walked out with orange juice, honestly. Pretty much. <laughs> and you just brushed your teeth. <laughs> it's not just Rivens themselves being broken; it's De being actually dishonest about their real intent. Yup. It makes them look like liars, which doesn't look good on them. Yep. But it doesn't make them look like liars, because no one can fucking see that for some reason. You got videos from, like, fucking Mogamu that are just coming out, they're like, yeah, randomly roll this ribbon a bunch of times. Looks like a fucking unboxing for a fucking, like, bullshit knives or whatever in CSGO. It's fucking gross. Absolutely fucking gross. Oh man. Riven Redemption. Gotta redeem these ribbons. Oh, that is Mittens, Cass. Hello. Why am I, I, I heard about. Why will it not enable? Revlo does not want to enable. Why? <laughs> oh, there we go. That was a weird thing, but it did do it. Wait, that was. Oh, no, no. Enable. There it goes. Wow, that button was like stuck for some reason. You mentioned that Damage 3.0 would come soon. What do you think the major changes should be? What should Damage 3.0 accomplish? Damage 3.0 should accomplish build variety. Or less mods that you just auto-slot into a weapon. Does energy conversion work on a bar as before? Yes. Bird mod videos are just people showing off their luck and I always stand up. It's like, it's so dumb. I hate them so much. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna give like a, a brief example of what Damage 3.0 should, should do. Take this Lux Prime for example. Okay. Now there's a commonality across all, all weapons that are in the secondary slot. You are using Hornet Strike, Lethal Torrent, and Barrel Diffusion. Are. So, what needs to happen is you need to remove... And that is really going at it. One second. I'll wait till that's over. <laughs> the last one? Okay, it is. Okay, so what it should do, it this is this is so easy and simple, and I know they won't just do the easy simple thing. That makes a huge amount of sense. I know they won't do it. But man, I fucking hope I can hope, right? Take Hornet Strike, take this damage increase, roll it into going from zero to thirty on a weapon. Just as your weapon goes from 0 to 30, they, it just gets stronger. That makes sense? Easy. No problem. Multi-shot. You have to... Normalizing this is, like, probably a good goal. So, what you do is you have one multi-shot mod that is only multi-shot, which will, like, double your amount of bullets, which would affect your crit chance accordingly. So you have that as a mod that you can use... Wrong, I don't use Hornstrike on my accessories. Ha, it's such a bad mod. Hilarious. Uh, so, this is like raw damage right now. 120% multi-shot, that means you're always doing double damage, and plus a 20% chance to do triple damage. And then this is 60% more on top of that, so you have a 180% chance to do... Or, well, you have uh, an 80% chance to do triple damage, and you're always doing double. So, with that, you just put more damage, like, as you're putting the Hornet Strike damage in, you just factor in that damage, and then you get rid of, like, what multi-shot does as it stands right now, and then certain weapons, probably critical weapons, you would give, like, inherent multi-shot as they go from 0 to 30 to get some of that damage in that way, and critical weapons can benefit from that. Otherwise, elementals are choices. As it stands right now, elementals are technically choices. The correct way... Okay, so this, um, how do I put this? This requires, like, the data that DE almost certainly has on, like, a really wide and wide-ranging scale. They need to figure out, and this is the, the real way to do this, um, they need to figure out the average percent elemental increase across all weapons in the game that you get. So, Across this, like, 90%, 165, 90%. Those are all elemental increases. So you just take those, add those all together. That's, like, my number for this weapon. Take it for every single weapon from every single player in the entire game. 
and average it as long as that player is like MR10 and above. So you take MR10 people and above, and you take all of them and you average how much elemental damage they're putting into their weapons on an enormous scale, and then you add that amount of damage into what you're already adding from Hornet Strike. So weapons that go from 0 to 30 automatically gain their damage. So after you've done that on a wide scale, which is very, very, very fair, because you're just you're just taking the average of like some people's damage will go up a little bit, some will go down a little bit, and the weapons will change out a little bit. Um, and what ends up happening is that then you can just have elementals that are just chain like you're just adding status effects separately from adding damage. Like I don't think it's that hard to do, not and not programming wise because obviously there's a huge amount of complicated shit that has to go into like redoing all the way all the mods work and what they do so that that part is a huge amount of work but the way that it should be done is that because other mods like prime target cracker and prime pistol gambit these are for specific weapons you don't use these on every secondary that exists that's not a thing that happens um things like embedded catalyzer which are potentially really cool what like things on ability cast 90 percent status chance that's actually a cool thing, but we're never going to use that because we just have all these mods that just add raw damage. But yeah, like what elemental mods should do is they should give you like the elemental effect, essentially. And like whenever they do damage 3.0, they're probably going to have to, with that, the right way to do it would be to rework a little bit how status works to make status more akin to crit. So yeah. But yeah, basically that. How important do you think damage 3.0 is to the game as it is? Uh -uh. Actually, I don't think damage 3.0 is that important. Like, in general, it doesn't... If it never happened, it wouldn't be a huge deal. Like, if it actually never happened, eh, not, not, not a huge deal. Um, but when it does happen, that will be as big a change as, like, the parkour system changing. And if they don't do damage 3.0 as well as the parkour system went, that is going to be very, very bad. Why can't weapons continue to gain stats as you form? I.e. the weapons shown level goes down to level 0, but the stats are from when it was level 10. Eh, it just just dumping Forma on weapons to make them stronger is fucking sucks. That fucking sucks a lot. Yeah, because re-leveling weapons already sucks it, as it yeah, is. Yeah, it, it's already it fucking sucks ass to level weapons over and over. So please, God, no. Thank you, Gripen. Don't forget that enemy scaling has to be adjusted right now, like one year ago right now. Yeah. Well, uh, okay, so... Let's go into another problem that Warframe has right now. And it, this has to do with ribbons and things that are being said around ribbons and why the things being said around ribbons are lies. Okay. So I'm going to go to I'm going to go to my flux rifle right now. Right now. And then I'm, we're going to give a couple of examples of things that happen. So Here's my flux rifle. I have this flux rifle. I have this ribbon. And you can see over here, the Riven disposition for this weapon is strong. So, the thing about this, that means the Flux Rifle is very weak. Because it gets a stronger Riven than normal. And it just so happens that my Flux Rifle Riven is hilariously terrible at minus 177% damage. Re disregarding that, let's say this was an amazing Riven. Let's say that was a plus. All of these were pluses. It would be significantly more damage, right? Yes, that is the case. But, as we've seen, Warframe has built-in power creep. And the thing with MR and as weapons get stronger that way. So here's the thing with Rivens that is not good and is just objectively terrible. If I have this flux rifle Riven and it has a strong disposition, there are only three dispositions right now and those dispositions are like kind of set. With that, that means that if I have a fucking Galatine Prime, this would have like a weak Riven and is are the ribbons going to change with time because if ribbons are supposed to bring up weak weapons eventually due to the way power creep has worked in the course of warframe as it stands right now the galatine prime will eventually be a weak weapon 
because it's an MR-13 weapon right now, what happens when we can get to MR-30? What happens whenever we have an MR-23 weapon? How much stronger is that than the Galatine Prime? Does the Galatine Prime still have a weak ribbon? Why? Is a strong ribbon somehow enough for the Flux Rifle to keep up with an MR-20 rifle? No. It is absolutely not enough, and it will not be enough, and the randomness associated with this is not good. Because then you'll have a weak ribbon for the Galatine Prime, which can't keep up with newer weapons. And then what the like then you're then you're two twofold your ribbons are not doing what they were advertised to do. And as new weapons come out, let's say the new weapon it, it's the fucking Galatine Prime 2. It's the it's MR20 essentially version of the Galatine Prime. Like the Skindo is to the Galatine, which is the lesser version of the Galatine directly. <clears throat> you then have the stronger version. So this has a weak ribbon. And then do they s suddenly update the Galatine Prime to have a strong Riven status? With that, what does that do to the Skindo? If the Skindo has a strong Riven status already, and then suddenly the Galatine Prime has a strong Riven status, those two Rivens are like roughly equivalent, why can those two things be the same at the same time? If you're trying to bring up the Galatine and trying to bring up the Skindo, you have to keep updating the system in like a way that doesn't make any fucking sense. Like, it, you, you can't do that that way. Like, Rivens don't, they already do not do what they advertise to do, and they're not built to fucking last. <sighs> Dread is MR0 and still one of the best bows in the game, so MR lock and weapons has nothing to do with their power or their Rivens power, except it does because that is back from whenever MR didn't matter. Like, DE has been pressing more on MR Matters, if you guys haven't noticed. <clears throat> Once you have MR20 stuff, it'll probably have five tiers. But that doesn't fix the fucking problem. Because the shitty weapons will still be shitty. Because I'm going to tell you right now. A Riven... That can make okay. So let's just look. Let's let's compare the Galatine to Skindo Prime. So this is the stat comparison. You get five percent less status, less damage overall, and it has like the same like rough critical stats, and it's slower. So you have to make up for all of that to get it to the level of the Skindo with a ribbon, and it takes a mod slot. So it already has to be stronger than a regular mod. Like, it has to be a regular mod plus making up for all this stuff to push you forward. But, as we've already seen, if you look up some of the current weak Soma Rivens, it doesn't really actually matter very much if a Riven is weak. Because it will still be incredibly strong and much stronger than current mods are. And, it, like, at some point saying that, like, now this Riven is super deluxe strong, that doesn't help the fucking case. Ugh, it's just ridiculous. And there's no way to fucking pro- like, you can't progress linearly with Rivens. And it sucks. It's awful. 220 is when the rant starts off. Was that really like a 30 minute rant? Oh my god. Here, I'll, I'll note that. And, and... I see that regular Xcal Prime. I'm triggered. <sighs> 52 <laughs> Oh no. All I'm saying is that the Riven system is the same fucking shit we got dicked with with the fucking vacuum. Because ain't nothing universal about the way vacuum is now. Nope. 
I just wish more people could see why this system is so bad. Like, not having anything to fucking build to. Because, like, whenever I come over here... If I could lock stats in, there's potential for me to eventually make my Flux Rifle worth fucking using. Because the slash damage increase, eh, it's actually fine on the Flux. Having the toxin damage, that's actually good. That's that's better than a regular toxin mod by, like, quite a quite a reasonable number. More damage to Corpus? Eh, sure. Why not? But that minus damage is the shit that's fucked up. So if I could just, like, lock in the toxin and then roll it again, it's like, okay, I've got a good increase here. I'm just trying to get other increases that I want. But you, they don't have this fucking system. Because it's not built. It's not built to be consistent. It's not built to be consistent to have false rarity where you have Soma mods and mods for weapons that are actually already good cost a fortune in platinum. Because you can't just get any Soma mod and then build it up to be a thing that's good for you. It's built to get platinum out of people. That's what it's built for. It's built to make it so that the people that have a shit ton of platinum can buy the super strong Soma ribbons. That's what it's actually built for. Like, and e even if they say they're trying to build a catapult, they didn't build a catapult. They built a gun. It's a gun. This is a giant gun. It fires nukes. You didn't build a catapult. Whatever you're saying you're building, it's not, you don't have catapults over there. I can, cat, I know, DE, I know you don't have catapults at your base. That's a nuclear warhead. Are you going to fire that at my base? Like, that's what's happening here. Like, it's just a lie. And I, I don't, I don't understand how people can't see that. Because if, if it worked as advertised both ways, that would be one thing. But it doesn't work as advertised. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't, they don't say that it makes the weak weapons good. Because it does, it like, they, they don't say that, and then that does that, but then it has the side effect of also having these other things that are very strong and make the money on the side, because you have a very strong Soma Riven that happens, and then people can make money that way. No. That would be totally fine. It's like, ah, it's just kind of a side effect of the system, eh, we're trying to fix it. You could get away with that, but you can't say it, not accomplish it, and then accomplish something that is the reverse. Because it's just dishonest. <clears throat> D doesn't listen to our complaints, but it's going to take them to court and be like... Uh, you probably will, though, at this rate. God. You'll actually take them to court. <clears throat> no. Because, like... And... I like D a lot. There's a lot of stuff that they have done, like super right but man uh like the the way parkour was handled was amazing second dream was outstanding war within itself was great besides ribbons like there's so many things that they've done that have been so good like the titania quest like all that stuff the inaro stuff that came out all this shit that has been so amazing and great and then, like, on a big point, they just lie and it sucks. Like, I just, I just want to know how, like, I just, come on. Like, they, they don't sit down and explain either. Like, on the dev streams where, like, they're gonna talk about Rivens, and then they just, they just say nonsense that doesn't, like, that doesn't, they don't do what they say when they talk about Rivens. And it's, like, very specifically that. What are we talking? What are we talking about? Nice turf. He just needs to balance their weapons and enemy levels so that ribbons aren't needed. But that's too much work. I guess it is. It doesn't seem like that much work. It really doesn't. Like honestly, like fucking slip me a fiver and I'll balance every weapon in this game. I'll give him MR. I don't give a fuck. It's not hard. It's so easy. 
I just think it's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. You mean the easiest things are the hardest things? I mean, look at the exactly. Look at the vacuum within. Yep. Look at how that went. That went horribly. And then the community literally set on fire. And DE was like, oh shit. And, and they didn't this. actually fix it. And the community was like, this is fine. And like, and like the truth behind that is that they, they changed vacuum. They fucked it up. Harder than they've ever fucked anything up before. And the community let them know, which is what they should do. And we, we know that whenever the community lets them know that they fucked up, they fucking respond very quickly, which is great. Uh, also, worth noting though, in those responses, don't fucking send death threats to DE. That is not good don't do that that's not effective but like <clears throat> uh fuck what was i saying but whenever they changed it to make it just a just a titty tiny bit better just a little itty bit little tiny smidge smidge better than it was previously they just made it so that it's a mod that can be put on all sentinels and it's the it's a range okay cool that's not the actual ideal that everyone wants, because there's still no reason to use cats and dogs. How did they fuck it up? They didn't actually do the thing. Like, they, they made a half range initially, and then that was a fucking huge shitstorm, and that got fixed. But they didn't make it just inherent to your Warframe, which is the thing it should be. What's up, Kobe? I know, it's just fucked. They're not gonna fix it soon. Not losing isn't the same as winning. Exactly. Also, like, Rage, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, like, lay down some real talk. I hope they fix this soon. They're not going to fix this soon. They're about to roll out secondary ribbon mods so they can make fucking fat stacks of platinum like, the people are buying to get Lex Rivens and Strong Rivens for their ex stilettos and shit like that. That is what is going to fucking happen. No one is, like, there's a very tiny amount of people, a very tiny subset of players that has the time to farm the Kuba necessary to make their other secondaries that are weak, like, kind of good. Yeah, because you can farm Kuba for, like, hours and only end up with, like, maybe 10k? Yep. At least it feels that way. Yep. Even with the new way it is, which is much better. Like, the way we farm Kuba right now is fine. Like, it's actually great, honestly. But it's what we're doing with that Kuba that's fucked. I'll go back, Kobe. Sorry. What's your opinion of the 2K Endo and Sorties? I mean, it's not bad because you're playing a mission for a chance to get what is essentially free plot and potentially up to legendary cores and ribbon. There should be 3K Endo and take the 2K and 4K out. If it was 3K and they took 2K and 4K out, that'd be good. They need to take Nitane and Form out. I don't know why the fuck they thought it was okay to put that in there. You guys want the Sortie Rewards to be better? Oh, we're gonna make them worse. How about that? We're actually instead gonna make them worse. How about that? You know, speaking of that, I heard that they're gonna roll out the Rifle Ribbons for the Secondary Ribbons. And I'm sitting here thinking, like, just take out the crappy Sortie Rewards. There's Then there'll be plenty of room to put all the Ribbons. Mm -hmm. And they'll actually be common at that point. Yep. Also, changing rifle ribbons for secondary ribbons. If they do that that way, how the fuck does that accomplish their goal? Tell me that. Because, here's the thing. You're supposed to get ribbons that are supposed to make your weak weapons stronger. Turns out that if you're a player that has been experienced and has good weapons, your weak weapons are numerous. Greatly numerous. And I understand that why we have the 15 capacity now, because it's a storage problem with how ribbons are and how random they are, causes a huge bloat in storage. So having the cap is for a different reason. So that's whatever. That's fine. But 
swapping out rifle ribbons for secondary ribbons how does that make that better oh wait it adds a false rarity to ribbons that already exist hmm yeah weird so that soma mod that's like a thousand platinum right now probably 1500 weird the prices will go up i wonder why that would be the case i wonder why that would happen Henry. Too real. Why don't you like do a sortie for a build forma? I love it. Because you what you can very easily build forma. Like you get tons of forma just from farming for primes. How do you like Final Fantasy XV? Didn't watch the stream because spoiler is very good. Alright. <laughs> Ruins to go the way of Prime Chamber, but worse. Yep. Because they have play value. The thing that's about Prime Chamber and why Prime Chamber is actually okay is because that mod is incredibly rare. Incredibly rare, but it actually does almost nothing. So, like, that having the value it does. It's purely a function of that rarity, and it doesn't actually hold any real gameplay value. So it's like, <clears> eh. <throat> but ribbons do hold gameplay value if you're lucky. Where do you farm relics? I mean, it changes every time new primes come out. Because it just depends on where those prime relics are. You gotta, you gotta pull down the arm and hope for lucky sevens. Like. Actually, that's not true. You have to pull down the arm and hope for Lucky 7's like five times. Pretty much. Anyway, let's get to uh, LOR. Sorry that that took so long. I'll start inviting everyone now. <coughs> and I guess I'll move them in here. Yes, please. Uh, let's see here. Right, McGuire. Actually, let's go in alphabetical. King is first then. Yeah, if you guys want to, like, hear bros, like, actually live, hop in the general Discord voice chat, and we'll drag you down into the... If you're theater. in the raid. If you're in the raid. Kira. McGuire's in this list, too. Yep, okay, good. Kira's down here. Wait, now, did I already pass Kira? Oh, there he is. Uh, and then Mitten. One by two. And... They're not going to remove the rifle ribbons completely and replace them with secondary ones. I'm only substituting ribbons for different weapon types for a short period of time before they release them all together. So it gives it a chance for per <laughs> Let's get people to get the ribbons that are more valuable. That's what DE said in the stream. Yeah, what they said is not what they mean. Spoiler fucking alert. Ribbons were more like Warframe augments instead of stat changing. Maybe they'd be okay. Here's the thing. Augments have the same goal as Ribbons supposedly do, and they just abandoned that system, and no one's talking about it. What do you replace on it for Maiming Strike? Spoiled Strike, I believe it was, that I replaced. I'm the only one who liked the old key systems. I like this new one better, honestly. By a lot. Because it is, I think it's definitely better, for sure. I like the key system for the convenience, but I also like this system because I can play it with RNG. You. Or the augments. Augments are in syndicates. Like the one for the burst in that gives it the syndicate proc plus a bunch of fire rate. It makes it much better. It makes the burst of prime much more competitive and useful. Turns out, nah, let's just abandon that system. Let's do randomness that doesn't actually do what we say. Great. Perfect. 
Lol, random XD. Yeah, for real. It's fucking so dumb. Uh, it's just disappointing.